Hello, and welcome to the... What was, what was I going to call this? Welcome to the Backlog Grab Bag, the show where I pick a random title from my Steam backlog and just give it a try for, I don't know, about an hour, make a video on it, and a good time's had by all. So here we have all my uh, Steam games in a list tracked on howlongtobeat.com. And this is a personally a curated list. I try to exclude any games that are primarily multiplayer or don't have like a single player campaign. Like I'm gonna exclude endless like life sim kind of games here. So this should be just all games that are single player where you can play them from start to finish and then call it done. So what we're gonna do is just click this random button and see what we get. Indivisible. Indivisible. Oh, I know. I know what this game is. This was on one of my videos. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's a surprise. You know, what are the odds of that? Out of like the 800 games I had in the list, we got one that I'm actually familiar with. All right. So we're going to install Indivisible and give it a try. Now, this is the exciting part of the video. I'm not going to edit any of this out either. You're going to watch this download with me and immediately unsubscribe. Oh yeah, that's right, I put this on my top 10 Metroidvanias in my backlog list. Wait. No. No, this isn't the top 10 games in my Steam backlog, right? We've gotta check. There it is. It's on the top 10 games in my Steam backlog list, and we're just gonna give it a little preview now. It was 7th on this list, so... If I stick to my priorities, I'm not actually gonna play it for a while, but... Hopefully an hour is enough time to get a little bit of a feel for it, and... See if it's something I actually want to play or not. Sounds cool. It's a little bit of an action RPG platformer combo, which, you know, sounds interesting. Okay, it's downloaded. Time to play. This looks nice. Ooh. Okay, Prometheus just killed her. Oh, <laughs> she's fighting shadows. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm convinced those are her personas, and she was fighting shadows earlier. This is a persona spin-off. That's cool opening. Seems promising. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it just starts. Wow. It really just starts. Oh, we're in it. Okay. Ooh, this is neat. Now what? Okay, now we're all dead. <laughs> This seems like it'll be very cool. I don't know where the enemy's HP is. Oh, it's at the bottom. We've barely dented this thing. Got an achievement already. It's gotta be a good game to get the achievement in the first five minutes. Alright, it's a cool little intro. Not really a tutorial, because... I, mean, I guess, like, maybe a little tutorial. That was just like, you know, here's kind of what the game's gonna be like. Mesh some buttons, figure it out a little bit. There'll be more tutorial. Almost definitely. Ooh, I can punch. I can jump and punch. That's why it's a Metroidvania. Oh, I, can, I can wall jump! That's why it's a Metroidvania. What's up, man? Up to talk, okay. Uh, yes, a bale of sticks. None of this is voiced. <laughs> okay. I uh, I was picking on the dialogue a little bit just a second ago, but it's pretty funny. Wall jump. I mean, yeah, we can wall jump, but we don't. We don't have to wall jump on that side, but on this side, wall jump all the way to the top. Huh. 
nobody in sight. Who's slow now, old man? Gah! Ooh, it's Prometheus from the opening. Arthur, you're late. Oh, this voice actor and this voice actress sound oh, yeah? kind of familiar. Take this! I'll have to look up these voice actors. Gah! Oh, Ashna, didn't I just warn you about projecting your attacks? But dude, it's a JRPG. We have to project our attacks. It's the law. If we're not shouting Demon Fang every two seconds, are we even fighting? Demon Fang! Ooh, while being attacked, press any button. I did it. I did it again with the same button. Okay, it, yeah, they all do the same thing. Oh, yeah, better timing. Better timing than getting hit. Now calm down. No, I'm coming all the way up. Your anger is getting the better of you, Ashna. I'm going home. You may join me when you've cooled off, and only then. <laughs> oh, that little slide. That was amazing. And he's gone. Wait, is that smoke? Ooh, and it's Prometheus burned the village, the village down. What's happening? Oh no! You shouldn't have pissed him off, there. Ashna. Oh, he started this fire. Don't worry about him. Worry about the Indians and villagers he's killing. This doesn't look great. Prometheus, you messed up. Oh no. So, the old man had a child. I'll allow you to say your goodbyes, but your life is forfeit, heretic. I'm sorry. There's some cool art right. in this game. There's so much I need to well, tell. This looks you. good. You know. Dad, but... save your strength. I'll beat this guy and we'll get you. Large contrast up. between the fire and the you, dark silhouettes. It works. I know. I it just works. Save your tears for someone who cares, girl. Rebuild it. There's me. I've trained every day ever since I could crawl. And if you want to fight, I'm bringing it to you. She reminds me of Celestia Ludenberg from Danganronpa. Like the accent. Man, you're weak. Give up while you can, girl. All those who oppose Lord Ravanovar's perfect world will perish by my He sounds kind of familiar, too. I, so swear it. I need to look up this whole voice cast. Okay, so I did go and look up the voice cast after recording everything else. Yeah, there are a lot of familiar names here. I didn't remember where I'd heard of some of these voice actors before, but uh, their names sounded familiar. And some of these people I am I know and love, you know, Ben Diskin, great voice actor, possibly my favorite. But uh, yeah, I've, I've played a few other games that these people have voiced characters in, and uh, prepare for at least a reference or two, or maybe like way too many, uh, referring to other characters that they've voiced. A village girl like you couldn't possibly understand. This is part of a larger plan. <laughs> this, these <laughs> illustrations so are so cool. You haven't bested me yet, girl. Yeah, tell her Ben Diskin. That's who he sounds like to me. I don't I don't what? know if it's him. Who beat him down so Wait. bad he With what oh. magic have you imprisoned me? Yeah, we we beat him down so bad that he just You're the vanished. Spiriting me away with your village magic. How are we still talking? Shut up. That makes no sense. Inner realm. It's in our head. What is this place? I'm inside myself? I Shut up! Whatever this is, if I can't kill you, I'm leaving you here. Goodbye. But I I told you to shut up! I... Yeah, that's fair. I'll bring you to him as a trophy. We'll see who makes a trophy of who. Alright. Now we're in like the Yeah, the adventure begins. Achievement unlocked. That's kind of nice, like, not too long an intro. And I probably don't need to say that a lot of RPGs have really long intros. Fight. First random encounter. Oh, so you can come out after all. Under certain conditions, it seems. I'd rather not die stuck in your head, so I propose a truce until I can return to Lord Ravanovar. Oh, oh, that's I see. That's uh. Oh, okay. No, uh. 
Okay. What is that minus broken heart on him? Is that how much health he lost? Eh. Yeah, that'll be explained, I'm sure. Yeah, we're just gonna store up a bunch of charges to that guy, because my attacks don't do a ton on their own. This is a fun battle system. It's kind of got, like, the Mario and Luigi feel, you know, where you have to, like, react to, to block enemy attacks and take less damage, and they're gonna attack one character or the other, and those are assigned to a button. Ooh! Ooh! Well, clearly that was supposed to happen. Ooh, look at this Metroidvania map. That's why it's got the Metroidvania tag, because of this map. I don't think I blocked that. <laughs> yeah, this I can't beat. Can't break through this. I'll have to backtrack later. That's why it's a Metroidvania. Like, the battle system reminds me a lot of the Mario and Luigi series. The one game of that I've played. Oh, damn, I didn't block those either? Really? Hey, are you okay? You look not okay. <laughs> Look at my stupid house. So I had to quiet them down. Make them crispy. Crisp them up real good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait here to get eaten by a Batala or whatever. Batala? I wonder what mythology is that from? Like that's uh that's in Megaten. That's a demon. Where did they get it from? What's a Vitala anyway? Again? Wait, she just voluntarily jumped oh, in her head? You go. There's a man in here who looks extremely annoying. I have told you, my name is Dar. Ajna, I hate him. If I must. Ooh. Oh, nice. That's cool. I like that character introduction she got. Dar didn't get one of those. I'm a little disappointed retroactively now. Okay, this is another thing I'll be able to come back to later. Oh, I already know how to slide. Figured it out. I did not realize there were two ways to do it, though. Yeah, I still don't know what those broken hearts on Dar are. That's a fun little animation I can do. Like I'm clapping. Boss battle. Boss battle. Ooh, the axe gets an intro too. Oh, I'll be able to cut down those branches or something with this. Okay, I can't cut down that. Alright, well that was a waste of time. We can't go back yet. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, that's where I am. That's good timing on that block. Good job, me. Uh oh, that's a big boy. Boss battle, boss battle. Easy. That was not even a boss battle. Now, are you going to be a team member or are you going to be a shopkeeper? I'm leaning toward shopkeeper. Oh man, what's the Abigail? That's the Stardew Valley character. Should be all over eating that stone. <laughs> that dialogue in this game is like it's different, you know? Like it's it's very contemporary in a lot of ways. Takes me by surprise. I I'm amused by it. I like it. Ooh. Okay. That's neat. Oh, we got combos now. Yeah. Okay. Combos. <laughs> that makes the system like 
even better. You know, I was enjoying it just with like the one button presses for an attack, but two? That's at least 20% better. Are you Cassandra Lee Morris? Are you the voice of Morgana? <laughs> Look at that little guy on her head. Ajna's all about the side quests. If she's not 100%ing an RPG, I mean, she's just always doing that. Oh, you're just a regular enemy now. Oh, I did not block that at all. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And this is fun. I like the little, like, Metroidvania platforming wall jumping segments between battles. It's a good combination for me. Like, this works as a game. I like it. Oh wow, I did not block that at all! Yikes. Okay, I blocked that a little bit. She's dead. Yikes. Aha! Okay. Okay. Neat. Oh. Whoa! Pathetic, he says, as he is almost dead. gonna call it there this is a fun game like I um, I think I'll really enjoy playing the rest of this one like it's got metroidvania elements the exploration the map the utility gating with the abilities I'm down for all of that and then on top of that there's the turn-based battle system kind kind of turn-based it's like I said it's the Mario and Luigi like action command and action defend battle system and i really like that i think that'll be a lot of fun so yeah i guess we're gonna leave it there uh that was me trying out indivisible for the first time that was fun i liked it yeah played it for about 50 minutes no played it for exactly 50 minutes apparently it's a good time it's a good time